What did I do to get here? It was never my aspiration to be a house servant. This is my story. Somehow I got hit by a bus, but nearby a vampire quickly brought me to his place and patched me up. And now I am wiping dust. Mortal, will you come here at once? I have a name. Lily! Ugh. Vermilion Zhang. In order to spare my life, I had to sign a contract that requires me to obey him for the rest of my life. Then he had me put on a maid costume, and here I am. Glad to see you've come when I called you. What do you want? Are you gonna address me like that? If you remember, you still owe a life debt with me. The things I do to stay alive. <sighs> what is your request for me, master? <laughs> I, I was just kidding. I think Master is a bit much on the nose. I hate this guy. So have you made breakfast yet? It's almost six in the afternoon. I'm nocturnal, remember? Can't you just whip something up in the kitchen for me? Or I can go out for a bite at you. <sighs> Please don't do that. I'll see what we have in the pantry. Before you go, let me say something. What? You really do look cute with that outfit on. <laughs> I hope I find Garlic to sneak into his meal. There's nothing wrong with toast, even at this time. I'm glad that I don't have to cook dinner. Wait, what am I supposed to do until then? Huh? How did the toaster catch on fire? Oh no! What to do? What to do? What to do? Are you alright? Uh, um, uh, yes, I'm fine. That was close. Trying to burn the kitchen down? Well, to be fair, this is old equipment here. Um, I'm sorry I screwed up your toast. I'm not mad. Look, why don't we go out for a nice restaurant together instead? My treat. Huh? Uh, we? You don't wish to come? I if you're paying anyway, it would be rude not to take you up on your offer. Uh, fine. Great. I already set out reservations. Already? Did he plan this from the start? He took me to the local Chinese place. After he paid the bill, we both took a detour at the park. I'm glad you enjoyed your meal. Didn't expect you to be so hungry. What is that supposed to mean? You hogged a lot of plates on your table. I thought I wasn't going to be able to afford your meal. Well, excuse me for enjoying an expensive course. Could you stay here for a minute or two? I have some quick business elsewhere. Where are you going? It's a surprise. That's quite odd. And why the hell did he have to leave me here alone? Hey, hey, check it out. Ooh, she's wearing some kind of maid outfit. Just ignore those nitwits. Pray that they'll go away if you ignore them. We just want to talk with you, baby. Yeah, come on. What are they doing? Ah, what's with that piece of work? Oh, you're gonna pay for that. Well, well, what do we have here? Neanderthals like you two shouldn't confront a girl like that. And who are you supposed to be? Her boyfriend? <laughs> ah, help! <laughs> well, I suppose they both learned their lessons. I just stood there at what had happened. I couldn't think at that moment. Are you okay, Lily? You didn't have to do that. Well, then I apologize. Wait. Don't apologize. You were just trying to help, and... Uh, well... Thank you. What was that? <sighs> oh, come on! Thank you! Do I have to repeat myself? Where are you this entire time? 
I wanted to give you these. He was carrying flowers in his hands. Just a few red roses and white lilies. Consider this a thank you for accompanying me tonight. What? All I did was screw up everything. I didn't even do my job right. It doesn't matter to me. As long as you're around, my life wouldn't get more fun and interesting. Come on, let's head home. I still never understood why he puts up with me. For a vampire, he's dashing, dignified, and courteous. But am I still doing this over a life debt? Or am I doing this so I won't have to be alone anymore?